if you're a believer in Christ, that comes first. So you can't compromise your beliefs for your workplace. I'm Nate Saint. I'm the CEO of Iron Mountains LLC, and we are a company in Morgantown, Pennsylvania. And we have a group of product designers and marketing folks. We develop children's products, car seats, high chairs, strollers, play pens, that type of thing. Most of the products that we develop are for the Graco brand, Graco children's products. We want products that serve people well, that make their lives easier, make their lives more enjoyable, and help them, help them raise their families well. That's part of our, our mission, really, to make great products that serve people well. My father worked for Graco for about 45 years. My dad invented the first wind-up baby swing. It was called the Swingomatic. It was Graco's first product in the juvenile industry. So I started off working as a janitor in Graco when I was high school, uh, early high school. When I was in college, I would work summers in the model shop at Graco. And then after a few years at Cessna, after college, uh, then I came back to Graco and began working in product development. The idea for the pack and play came from actually one of our competitors. Uh, at the time, the pack and play was invented. There were traditional A-frame uh, play yards. And another competitor came out with a product that was a little bit longer. It was more rectangular in shape, but it packed into just a bag. And they created a market because we began seeing their product grow and grow and grow. But it had one problem. It had 19 pieces, and it took five minutes to assemble. I think innovation, invention, is really spurred by need. And so when you see a product that is doing really well, and yet it has, it has not a flaw, but it, it, has, it can be improved. That's what's driving, that's what's driving my mind. How can we take this product that people love the folded size, but it takes five minutes to put together? How can we make that much quicker and easier to do? That's the motivation for the pack and play. So when I had time to sketch, I had sketched a lot of different ideas, and eventually one of them was now what became the pack and play. We are really blessed to have great people here. Very gifted people, skilled people, but people who get along well, respect each other, and that's really important. And that really makes for an atmosphere that people can be creative. I think God gives us the creative ideas that, that, come with, that we come up with. I know we have to work hard. You could almost say that God invented creativity. And creati creativity, I believe, is a gift that he gave me, gave others in this world. He gave us a drive to, to create things, and he gave us the ability to create things. John would be one of our newer design engineers. Well, I design uh, primarily swings. Um, I work on, I've been working the past five years on baby swings. And then Rob, uh, Rob and I have worked together for many years, probably 25 or so. Uh, Rob's a very gifted engineer. It's uh, always been kind of an honor to work with Nate because of his nature, I think, and, and his ethics. I think he really sets a tone for Iron Mountain. He's a very kind person and very honest person. One of my favorite scriptures is from James. It says, but the wisdom from above is first pure and peaceable, gentle, reasonable, full of mercy and good fruits, unwavering, without hypocrisy. And then it says, and the seed whose fruit is righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. And I believe that if we can have a peaceful atmosphere, not that everything is always going to be peaceful, but if we can aim toward that, that's a powerful thing. The opportunities I've, that I've had to share my faith typically come when an employee has maybe a difficult situation. So they may come into my office and say, I've got problems at home, my brother is doing this and I'm trying to, and so I'll talk to them about it um, and I'll say, can I pray with you? And they typically are, are, are open to that. I grew up in a family that had a lot of Christian ministry emphasis. And so Christian ministry was highly revered in my family. And so I kind of assumed that that's where God would take me. Uh, and yet I watched my father work in business and I began to realize that maybe that's a calling as well. Uh, that was emphasized when I was at Letourneau because Letourneau had a 
had a strong emphasis at the time, I believe it still does, of, of working out our faith, living out our faith in the workplace. There, there was a time when I was back in my Graco days, or there have been several times where we just had a problem that we just did not have a solution for. And maybe we had a production deadline coming up. Uh, I don't remember the specifics, but I remember we just, we gathered some of the guys that were Christians and said, let's pray. We, we don't have a solution. We're, we're stuck between a rock and a hard spot here. And God gave us solutions. And I mean, he, he continually gives us solutions. If I create something, I invent something, that's really, my response is gratitude toward God because that's a gift he gave me. So I, I'm excited about the future. Our challenges as product developers, how are our products gonna reach our consumer? How are they gonna decide which product to buy? That's, that's a challenge that we see coming. I haven't really figured that one out yet. God, God willing, we will. <laughs> I think it's important that we realize that personal success is not, did I climb the ladder? Do I, did I make more money? It has to do with my walk with Christ and, and am I fulfilling his calling for me in my life.